Flight of the Crow's Wing presents Teardrop Camping in the Pike National Forest of Colorado and a Trip Up Pike's Peak, August 2022. We left our Snake River campsite in Idaho and journeyed southeast to Colorado Springs. We made our way into the Pike National Forest to look for dispersed camping. We found lots of campsites along Forest Road 300, most of which were already being used or extremely unlevel. We ventured further into the forest on the smaller, rougher forest road, searching for that perfect combination of pretty, solitary, and level. Okay, so yesterday we drove down a lot of these little tiny roads looking for a good campsite. We are in Pike National Forest in Colorado. Uh, we were the first vehicle that I've known on this road and I don't know how long because there were no tire tracks. This is our campsite that we found. It's got a really good view. Pike's Peak is off in the distance that way. And Elizabeth is starting the cleanup from other campers because people like to trash campsites. And the gorgeous campsite has a large pile of trash in it, lots of broken glass. But it is a beautiful place to be. So we are going to clean it up and make it better. There it is. Big garbage pile is cleaned up. And all the glass is picked up, raked up, moved out. Cleaning up tools of the trade. Shovel, a rake, graburators, and a bucket. And nitro gloves. Don't forget your gloves. And then it was time for dinner. campsite came with a view of Pike's Peak. Not a very good view, but a view nonetheless. Since we were this close to a mountain that famous, we had to go visit. I reserved gate tickets online so we could drive to the top. And now for some fun facts about Pike's Peak. Pike's Peak, named in honor of explorer Zebulon Pike, is the highest summit in the southern front range of the Rocky Mountains. At 4,115 feet, it is higher than any point in the U.S. to its east. The drive up consists of 156 turns and gains 4,720 feet to its peak. Fun fact! In 1891, Pike's Peak lost its apostrophe. How does one lose an apostrophe anyway? Where did it go? Is it in the black hole of the dryer with my socks? Fun fact! There have been several Bigfoot sightings on this stretch of road. So many sightings that a warning sign has been placed along the roadside for your safety. One member of the Sasquatch Investigation of the Rockies group claims to have been given gifts by the hominid. A hat, a heart-shaped rock, and a necklace. How nice. Fun fact! In 1876, signal station attendant John O'Keefe told stories of giant man-eating rats that lived in the caves on the mountain. He told how he, his wife, and daughter were attacked by the rats and he and his wife were able to drive them off, but not before his daughter, Erin, was killed. Without any proof, this story was printed in a number of papers around the country and across the globe, causing quite the sensation. He erected a grave on the summit that was well visited by tourists. However, there were two problems with his story. He wasn't married, and he did not have a daughter. And as it turns out, it was very likely that Erin was his mule that had recently died. Grief can make people do crazy things. Fun fact! During the first recorded ascent of Pikes Peak in 1820, Dr. Edwin James and two other men spent three days reaching the summit. On the morning of the third day, they awoke to the smell of smoke. As it turned out, a campfire from their previous morning turned into a full-blown forest fire ravaging many acres on the mountainside. Professional explorers 
and you don't even know how to properly put out a campfire. How embarrassing. Fun fact! Oh, and in case you didn't know, because you've been living in a cave like a giant killer rat, they also have a race up this mountain. All in all, we did 18.2 miles in 53 and a half minutes. And we didn't even set anything on fire. Where are we at? We're at the top of Pikes Peak. We drove all the way up here, 14,115 feet. Uh, 8,690 feet. And there's hardly any air up here. We took our time going back down the mountain, stopping to take photographs along the way. We even parked at the Devil's Playground and hiked a short way to a viewpoint. Here we have signs to stand on the trail. One minute of crushing counts on hundred years of growing. After a few days camping, it was time to leave. At 9,317 feet in elevation, we did suffer some headaches due to the altitude. I guess we weren't as acclimated as we could have been. It was a beautiful campsite though, and we'd like to think that we left it better than we found it. goes in for the steal. Oh, he fumbled. Let's see that on the replay. Burb's got his eye on the crumb. He grabs, but since he's already got food in his mouth, he fumbles. And the crumb is out of play. Yes sirree, Larry Burb just got a bit too greedy. And old Butterbeak loses his chance at MVP. If you like our videos, please hit the like button. If you're subscribed, hit the notification bell to be informed of new videos.